So we don't have only have about ten minutes, but this is our our darling minister, mm. Dr. Ah. Uju hmm. Kennedy. We are saying some important things to women. So I like to tell the so a lot of that you have been taking her for uh, be there dragging her, but we have to know what but ladies of your view, we are very decent women, so there's a way yeah. we, we take things. So let's we'll not yabba. We're we'll not yabba, but we'll, we'll, we'll try to help <clears throat> you know, elaborate better. Okay, so she's she was speaking at a, a conference organized by the Rule of Law Anti Corruption Rulak Phase Two program where she said that uh, she was speaking to women. She said, I'm equally begging my women not to look for trouble, not even at home. Maintain peace in your home because if a home is peaceful, the women, they have 80% to contribute to that. If you need peace, you can achieve it. Keep your mouth shut. Talking about, uh, back does not yield fruit. Rather, it leads to death and destruction. It leads to upbringing bad children for society. Wow. Keep your mouth shut. It does not make you a fool but a wise woman. When the man is shouting and saying all sorts of things, act like a fool and keep your mouth shut. It's okay. In 2024. Mm. In 2024. Eh, it doesn't matter now. The, the, the God is saying say yesterday, today, and forever. Yeah, I believe there is wisdom in what she said yeah. to a group of people. Um, I just believe that it sh we shouldn't have that as a message from the Minister of Women Affairs to the Nigerian women from that place of authority because she's validating and she's supporting men that will be resorting to violence and maltreating their wives based on what she Can't you see what a minister of women affairs, a whole minister of Nigeria is saying, and you, you are talking. So I, I believe that it, while there is, those are things that you tell your daughter or tell your friend or your mentees in the corner, but not what you will stand as a minister because your office is not just about you and your personal opinion. Your office reflects on every woman in what Nigeria. What if she has interfaced a lot of women and in that her circle and are having that similar issue where they're having problems? So she's saying it for a part of experience. Let me take this call and come to you. Ola from Kaduna, thanks for calling your live. Yeah, good morning, Morayo. Good morning. Yes, I am calling from Kaduna. And uh, as we talk about this um, topic this morning, it, it touches my mind in the way. Today I live in the north, but I used to live in Lagos, particularly in Moto. You know, in Moshi, out of every 10 boys, when I was growing up, out of every 10 boys, like seven are in two and eight. Now, I know this family that I did, and it's really touching me this thing that you are talking about. Right. The man is a deeper life member. All his children were Christian, because when I joined them to live with them, that I became a born again Christian. But all of them, all the children, children, all of them graduated, they could not find jobs. Even the female that got married, at the end of the day, the husband came and was living with the father. The only one who made it was the last one who went into Yahoo Yahoo. And today, it's all over the place. But the father would not collect a dime from him. Now, what's changing here is the There was a time the man was advised of prostate cancer. And he said he would not take a dime from that guy. The man is late now. Because all the rest of the children couldn't do. Our, our government could also put some things in place, so that people, you know, when people are old, they cannot access health care, they cannot access uh, social welfare, and then a woman is 60 years old, the man is 75, he is not able to access all of these things, and he has a young boy who is the only one who has done And what we are saying, okay. he, he shouldn't, so you see, the thing is yeah. somehow. There's Ilera, a call for that, but yeah, yeah. That they, we have that as, a, as an insurance for, she was saying that the reason why that boy, that, that guy felt he needed the Yahoo boy was because of his um, health. Well, health situation. But there, there's insurance. Just the Nigerians don't know what about it. Oh, yeah. But we're talking about this this uh, minister. What are your thoughts on it? Who would like to jump in? I know Tokwe has said something. Okay. Yeah, the minister that I, I yes. spoke about. So um, there was um, a story I heard growing up when uh, this particular lady was having issues with her marriage. And so she went to get uh, meet a native doctor who now <laughs> told her, give her a calabash and put something in the calabash and said, anytime your husband is shouting, you, are, you get into an argument and he's talking, don't say anything. Just lift the calabash and blow into it and everything will subside. So she went back. She did it for a few weeks and she came back. She was thanking the native doctor. Ah, hey, he walked or, you know, we've not been fighting. Once he starts, I'll just pick my calabash quietly. I'll just blow into it and I'll keep it. And the native doctor said, I actually did not add anything <laughs> into that calabash. 
I realized your problem when you came to report, and that was because you were not allowing him to express himself, and you were challenging him. So as you blew the calabash and kept quiet, did the matter not resolve itself? Um, I personally respect myself, and I know that, and I want my husband to respect me. However, I've realized that sometimes when tempers are flying, when the conversation is heated, I know when to keep quiet. It doesn't mean that I have lost my right of, uh, of being a human being or being respected in that relationship. It just means that I understand when it's now the ego that is talking. And if his ego is talking and my ego is fighting, there can never be peace in that relationship. So what I do is to keep quiet and take myself out till we are calmer in, you know, later on to now resolve the situation. And it has worked for me for over 22 years years. So I understand where she's coming from. Probably she did not... The manner you know, in which she said it. Uh -huh. Maybe the manner in which she said it. But can we take the information and leave the messenger and find a way to apply that information to suit ourselves so that we're not... So um, there was a relation of mine that came to the house sometime with the husband to spend time. And any small argument, they're they are, they are throwing water at each other. And I'm, <laughs> I was shocked. I was like, this girl is so young for this kind of thing. They are throwing words. It was so shocking to me. I had to call her later and said, uh, I know that you're very vocal and you want to quickly speak and all of that. But when you notice that in that conversation, his voice, his, the tone of his voice is already changing. Can you try just keeping quiet for a bit and Fine. see how it works yeah. for you? Okay. So I agree with her. I, I, like, I, I like you guys to jump in here because modern women will tell you, I, have, I, yes. I want to express myself. Yes, yeah, so... Um... You know, I agree with that side of the conversation. It's not even about just the woman. A man, too, if he finds himself in that situation, yeah. Yeah. he can back, back down, too, you know, until tempers are calm. But, you know, she said something about that this is what causes uh, physical... You can, get, you, can, you can get injured or, yeah. you know, killed. And that's where, for me, I, I think the, the opera is about the problem. Because it reminds me of people who are being raped, and then we say, what were you wearing? You know, we now take the blame away from the perpetrator and put it on the victim. Because she argued, that was why I hit her, in her on her head with a sharp object and killed her. If she hadn't argued, no, you killed her because you're a killer, because you're a murderer. You know, do you all, a killer, you find a way, that's the way you handle any sort of situation. If you were not a murderer or a killer, if you are not physically, uh, you aggressive. know, aggressive, that is not how you handle someone that's challenging you when you're arguing. So the problem now is to talk to men or women who are physical that way, who are violent. You cannot address issues by being violent, is what I would prefer to hear. You will find yourself in tough situations. Do not, do not resort to violence to solve it because it never solves anything. But to tell a woman to shut up because of that, for me, I feel if, a, if what I would want her to say is that if you find that you're with a man who resorts to violence, please leave that place because it cannot end well for you. Today, maybe because you shouted. Tomorrow, maybe because you just breathe a certain way and he did not like the way you breathe, you know? So that's my own problem. With I, 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 I think there's, there's, a, there's a need for us to balance this conversation. Um, you know, one of the things I didn't like from the statements, I don't know whether it was um, uh, exaggerated, the use of words, mm. you know. And you know, media, yeah. shut up, yeah. one, that's very subservient. Number two, you can be killed. <laughs> you know, I think that's extreme. Yeah. Um, also, she's a minister, you know. Um, like, like she said, it's important for us to know that we, we, we set examples, and we set the, the, the tempo. Now, I'm sure she spoke to a certain group of people, and there was a context. Mm, that's also important. So, so they, they may be quoting her out of context. However, right, in every relationship, there's, there's a concept of mutual respect, mutual honor, and mutual dignity. Um, you know, and, and, and this matter, of the woman keeping quiet is expecting the woman to be subservient, submissive, which is the story that we have heard for so long. What about the man that is supposed to be mutually submissive? 
So in that same um, 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 scripture that says, wives, submit to your own husband, it says, husbands, love your wives like Christ loved the church and Sorry, gave his life. I have to pause life. you. I have to pause you because something came to mind. And, and I wish we had discussed this thing even much earlier. Could it be a language problem? Because yeah, people are thinking in their cultural, yes. natural way. Because I'm thinking in Yoruba, that's there's a way you say something in Yoruba. Yes. There's a way you say it where <laughs> okay, I translating get it to so English. English. Yeah. It means totally meaning. different things. Yeah. So yeah. in her, she's thinking as an Igbo woman, Nigerian woman, say, okay, listen, you better keep your mouth shut. You may chow new, whatever, whatever, mm -hmm. you know. But she's saying it in English. <laughs> so, there's a way. so she's thinking it, but the, the English version just has a totally different version. So could that be a problem in this, in this message? Yes, it could be because I've addressed it, the context, um, the language that was used, and the fact that media may just want to just sensationalize it. You know, so that, that, that's one thing. You know. However, you know, whether it's language or it's not language, Still. how do relationships need to run? We have to love each other. We have to respect each other. We have to honor each other. We have mm -hmm. to dignify each other. So if I, the man, right, I'm speaking, and my wife is the one that is emotional in that moment, calm down. Yeah. Just calm down, because we can't solve the problem. We need to ask ourselves a very critical question when we are going into a conversation. What is the desired outcome? Mm -hmm. What do I want to achieve by going into this conversation? Nothing will be achieved when both of you, That's right, I mean. are raising your voices. True. When both of you are cantankerous towards each other. When both of you are not listening to each, each other. other true. When you are not allowing each other to speak, you can never resolve any issues. So whether you spend one hour trying to do that is wasted. You've just wasted one hour of your life. So always ask yourself, you know, both of you agree. At the end of this conversation, what, do we, what is our desired outcome, right? And when one person is vying off, you never did, you never did, you are this, you are this. Calm down, calm down, sweetheart. Calm down, calm down, calm down. Okay, I'm sorry. Let's go back to the issues. Let's address the issues. Mm. Okay. Let's take a few comments on social media. I know we have quite a few comments from uh, the previous topic, but we also have some here. So I have from Mr. Tijani. Uh, he always sends us messages. So he said, he was talking about the previous topic we, we mentioned. He said, the construction of industry is suffering from the death of artisans and craftsmen. And these young boys can channel their strength to be self-employed. Uh, he remembers, I said, I remember Condoleezza Rice, former U.S. Secretary of State, made similar suggestions when she visited Nigeria sometimes. So the energies can be rechanneled. Any other comments before we wrap up on this topic? Um, on this particular one. They're still responding to the other No, he said, um, every man has a beast in them. For you not to bring out the beast in them. So I guess that's the key point. Every has a beast in them. Yeah, We've seen women. Not just get beast. <laughs> <laughs> we just no, yes, all of them. has no fury. <laughs> <laughs> that the woman that is okay, scorned. Get beast, but yeah. just we've been trained. Yes. 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 In fact, lioness beast. is fiercer it's than, than a lion. lion. Yeah. yeah, true. Yeah, that's, that's nice. scientifically. Me too. Uh -huh. So somebody said that this is partly why some of the most powerful groups of women in the world and the most feminine when it comes to wealth and like he was, she, she's anal he's analyzing, it's not a favorable comment to uh, minister. I, I, I don't, th I think that we should leave okay. those ones off. Okay. We have to, unfortunately that's all we can take. Ah, I wish we had said this topic earlier because <laughs> yes. there are so many angles. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you see that know. language yeah. thing you're talking yes. about? Yes. It affects everything. It's, it's deep. Mm. Many it's things part of our, It's part of, our, mm. part of our problem here. Yes. In, yeah. I, 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 should we not speak vernacular? No, 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 no. I think that's because <laughs> there are a group of people that I feel they are by the way they talk. Let me just, it's not even I feel, Niger Delta, they, they are, there is a force right. with which they we, talk. Yeah. We talk with strength. Yes, Funny and in most cases, it can come across as being rude, mm. yeah. being unruly, yeah. but that, and being aggressive, yeah. but that's like the way they express yeah. themselves. The energy so, it's not even just Niger yeah. Delta. Mm. It's outside Nigeria, mm. every other us. African thinks that, why do Nigerians always fight when mm. they're talking? Mm. Yeah. We're always shouting, we're always, you know. So, so <laughs> it, it has become our natural order. We, we actually need to step back and ask yeah, ourselves, do we actually need to be that aggressive? Although I always say it's Lagos people. Like... Where we come from, we don't shout. I've shared this story a trillion times. When I, when I first went to the US, my brother-in-law's wife, until I go there, I'll be talking to her, and there's all of the bread in the fridge. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> really shouting? <laughs> 
<laughs> Remember why he told us? Okay, I always shout. I don't have to shout. I'm right in front of you. Why? Why he also it. told us that they called the police on them because they were gisting. They thought there was a fight. They're like, yeah. no, we're told. That's, <laughs> <laughs> that's all we can take on today's show. Thank you so much, Larry. It's always a pleasure Thank having you. you. Yeah. Okay, that's all we can take. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now.